Hello everybody! Today I decided to make a completely different video. Uh, today will be the video from the supermarket and I've never done the videos outside of my home before. Uh, I will see how it goes. But I decided to make this video because when I travel, when I go abroad, I'm always curious what is there in the supermarkets in other countries. Maybe there are some unusual things or things are arranged differently or something can surprise me uh, and some food can be maybe really specific specific to the region or to the place where I go. So today I decided to show you what you can find in the Russian supermarket. First of all, we have a lot of Christmas and New Year stuff also here, a lot of sweets. And this year, because of the frozen, the second part, we have a lot of frozen here. Of course, written the name of the movie in Russian, Halodne Sierce. It's actually, by the way, not frozen. It has the name of cold heart. I don't know, what is the name of this one in your country? And then we have all the usual stuff that you'll find everywhere, like Kinder and a lot of different kind of Kinder. You'll also find all the same brands as everywhere, I guess. So Ferrero and Mint, the gigantic Ferrero. The prices, by the way, are approximately the same as everywhere. You can also get the Amandam's ones and I think for this year I saw this one for the first time and it's with doors that you can open but they are without numbers so they're not like an advanced calendar because I thought it was strange we don't have 24 days before Christmas we have more than no, we don't have just advanced our Christmas is in January so it would be wise to have them with 30 days to count days till the new year I don't know if we have those. We made the advent calendar for us who don't have Christmas after 24 days, but at 30 days, so it ends with New Year. For something specific, maybe something Russian for the New Year, and I found those. Look at those. They're made in the form of samovar. Those are cool, I think. I don't know what kind of sweets are inside, to be honest. Oh, but look, it looks more like a Russian uh, powder frost. We call him Dead Maros. Oh, and look, uh, he is drinking tea like in an old traditional Russian way. I don't know how to call it the best way. From the saucer. You put the tea in the saucer, then you drink it, and then it's less, um, it's less hot and you can drink it. And you can also see there, like in the, in the Soviet time a bit, um, the sugar in the cubes uh, and then the tea in this pot. I think. My grandma had that one, maybe she still has one, and all the grandmas in the country in general. And uh, I now saw that the sweets here are also from uh, three Russian companies, the famous ones. So at least I found something that is for the new year and it's a bit traditional. Let's find the price. Is there any? I don't see a price to be honest. All the toys in the supermarket are quite cheap and a lot of plastic. I personally don't enjoy those types of toys. But if you want, you can also buy some of the Christmas New Year decorations here. Very colorful, but again, a lot, a lot of plastic and in my mind, a bit too much sparkling and too bright. I told many times that being in Europe, I especially miss Quora. We have a lot of different companies that produce it and uh, different uh, packages and shape all the Quora Quora. Sadly, we don't have that. I haven't seen that in Germany. Uh, the closest thing that we found was Quark, though it's not exactly the same. Quark is more like we have Quark in this shape, more like between Quark and yogurt. Um, but sadly not the same and the sirniki, the one they really like to make from fork, the like pancakes from the fork, I cannot then make them from fork, at least they're not as good. Uh, but I read in Instagram uh, advice how to make um, them from fork, uh, but there are some secrets and next time I'm there I will try to make it. In general we have just a lot of with products in my mind, just in any usual Russian supermarket. Uh, New Year is coming, so on every table will be red caviar. On 
pour on almost all tables. And we'll make food abroad with them. So bread, butter and caviar. Very traditional to have it on your table. Let's look for the price. The very strange uh, price. It's um, half euro, more than half euro. Why is that so strange? Oh, okay. It's not the real one. It's uh, it's imitation. It's not the real one. Okay, that makes sense. And also the black one. As far as I know, the black one is prohibited officially. But this one is also an imitation. I guess it's not prohibited this way. But then, what do they make it from? I'm not the big fan, to be honest. So I don't know. And I, but I wouldn't be afraid to buy this. That is an imitation. I need to read about it. Oh, it's something like this when it's in the plastic, just back this way. Again, imitation, imitirani. So, not the real one. And this one is even cheaper. I would not buy it to be honest. Oh, here I found the real cat here. Let's look at the price 379 euros. That's more like it uh, for 140 grams. This one a bit cheaper, and here some more. This one for 50 grams. Yeah, for 50 grams, 2,849 bubbles. And, um, and this one for 100 grams, almost 5,000 rubles. This small, small one. Speaking about prices. I think the most gigantic difference for the price is meat. Let's look here. Here we have turkey and there are the steaks from turkey and it's 269 rubles for 525 grams. That's much cheaper than you find in Europe and the quality is good. The quality is really good. Um, let's look at some other meat. For example we have here chicken. And for one kilo, it's 279 bubbles. That's why when I'm in Europe, I want to become vegetarian more and more. Um, let's look at some other meat. Uh, let's look at beef. I found beef here. For 500 grams, you would pay 185 rubles. I think you can see that the price difference is gigantic. And here, for example, those are already the cutlets made from and it's 229 rubles for 400 grams. And the thing that surprised my husband, for example, in Russian supermarket is that things like this, the frozen veggies and uh, seafood, you can buy them in bulk. You can just take as much as you want and then wait it on the weight and then you got it. Not only in the packs, though we also have it in packs this very different kinds of packs but this to be honest i also haven't seen um things like this in any european supermarket until now is there the same in your country can you buy things like this they're uh, just uh, in bulk um this is a traditional one bareniki a lot of different ones i like with fruits with strawberries with cherry but you can also get them with uh, mushrooms and potatoes. Those are dumplings and they're really, really, really good. Though you can have real dumplings, like the Chinese ones here, but the real ones are a bit different. The dough is a bit uh, thicker and uh, the taste of the dough is also a bit different. Uh, we bought ones um, oh, like those with pork, with cottage cheese. In Germany, they were really, really not tasty. And then we have pirmeni. Those are like vareniki uh, and like dumplings, but with meat inside. And we got a lot of different companies that produce them. A lot of different ones. Uh, they're all with meat, but the meat can be different. And the price, but this is with the discount, 159 for 700 grams. And the real price, like really good ones, they are. Rose with uh, the mini, they go and go and go. 
Oh. And go. A lot of them. Also a neutral thing. What do I think is this? This is beer. And it's in a plastic bottle. Salt. Um, I haven't seen that in other places as well. And this one even said Czeska, so from the Czech Republic. Uh, I'm not sure it's really from the Czech Republic. Let's look at it though. Okay, it's just the name. Uh, it's brewed here in the next city. But the name is Czech Beer. But still, I got plastic bottle. Have you seen that somewhere else? It's a French one. Uh, and uh, it's uh, expensive. This one is cheaper because uh, it's with a discount. But this one with the caramel is really expensive. I would not buy that. Um, but it's tasty, you know. I tried both of them. Uh, and here, at least, it's uh, written in English and um, in French. Nothing in Russian on the pack. You can see that, right? And here, next to it, I think this is a German company. And all the Russian letters, and you will read here, Tort, Schwarz, Fight, Tort, Cake, Schwarz is Black, Bald, Forest. But I know that because I know some German. The people who don't know any German, they would just read Tort, Schwarzwald and don't understand anything really. But here, the interesting one, you have Niemetsky, Vanilli, Pirog, Kuchen. So, German, Vanilla, Cake. Kuchen, the German name for the cake. Interesting decision. I'm really curious how they um, decide on the, the names. I've never seen this one before, but I want to show you those sweets. Um, I never saw them really before. Um, <laughs> it's called Svisa Moschine. So the tear of a man. Men's tear. I'm curious. Maybe they actually taste it. I don't know that. And I'm always searching for some special things to bring to Germany as a souvenir. I like it in food. And this is my next idea. So if you want, you can also use this idea. So this one is the dessert uh, and it's made only of uh, apples. It's an extra one. Um, so this one is with some additional berries. Uh, but here you can find it just with apples. And it's a really tasty one. And I think they have even the, oh here I will show you, the Christmas edition uh, with the cinnamon. It's really really a nice dessert and I like the fact that it's very natural. Or at least <laughs> very natural of what you can get in the supermarkets. So that will go with me to Germany soon. Oh, by the way, if you're also searching for the souvenir in the supermarket, search for this red packages and uh, the company name is Krasny Aktabel, Red October. They make really good sweets and they are well known in Russia. My favorite ones are those with the uh, uh, very famous painting uh, in Russia with the bears and those are also good. With little red uh, riding hood. That's called like this, little red riding hood. But you know the fact. My advice, take those. They are not that cheap, uh, but with a discount, especially here, it's a good price. I think I will take um, About alcohol, the thing is, they will always ask passport if you look at least a bit like you're <laughs> young, you're around 18 or can be less than 18. So alcohol can be sold here uh, only if you're more than 18. And many times they will not accept your driving license, though I tried sometimes and uh, especially with us makeup probably don't look like I'm 18. So I really should remember to take my passport with me. And we here in Russia don't have our ID, we have passport and it takes a bit more space than an ID so I normally don't carry it with me. So yeah. A lot of vodka. I, don't, I cannot tell you more about it. I don't know, but you can see that the amount of choice is gigantic, and it's not only the Russian one. Uh, also, the this Finnish one is very popular. I know, but the rest goes to an endless choice. 
So I bought everything I needed and I haven't showed you the payment process but it's basically the same. Uh, you just uh, pay with a card or with the cash money and questions you can hear in the supermarket are if you need a bag, um, paquet notion would they ask in case you need it? Um, I think it's a useful phrase to know in um, many languages because uh, this is something you will hear in the supermarket and you need to understand uh, either to do this or this if you don't know the language but the phrase is again paquet nožen um, and just basically listen for the word paquet is the plastic bag and then you can say yes or no. And one more thing they can ask, you probably will get that. If you get if you have the card of the of this supermarket, of this shop, um, so that you can get some more discounts and offers. And uh, this would be у вас есть карта. And here basically listen for the word карта and the card, карта, it will be probably not so difficult. So if you're in the Russian supermarket, you know know what you can buy and what to do. So basically in the Russian supermarket, it's like in all other supermarkets, in all other countries, it's not like in the other planet or anything. The only difference is that the range of product is a bit different and there you can find something specific. But this is the interesting part in my mind, that in the supermarkets all around the world, you'll find some really interesting things. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you even learned some Russian words if you didn't know them before. And see you soon. Bye! Thank you.